Hi, this is Brad Page with Russ Sound. I'm back in the top secret Russ Sound lab with Joe Dion from Tech Support. Joe is going to show me how you install and configure for the first time an MBX Pre with an MCA system. So, Joe, where do we get started? I want to get started with some connections first. Mm -hmm. um, so, there's two network connections here one for the MBX Pre and one for the MCA. So, you plug those both into your switch. Got it. Plug in your power. Mm hmm. And turn them on. That's okay. the first. That's the first thing you want to do. For audio, just as a reminder, you, you take the line out. For example, we're going to set this up on source number three, which would be right here. Yeah. Right? So yeah. line level out to line level and on source three. Yeah. And if you notice that there's an also an output, just so you know, that's for multiple MCAs. So if you were stacking to get say 16 zones with multiple controllers, right? You would come out into the next controller there to daisy chain Exactly, because the RNet carries all the data. And then for audio, you want to use these buffered preamp loop, preamp outs um, because that, that really keeps the signal quality consistent right. from MCA to MCA. Um, so it's much better than splitting. And you can only use, like, the 88s with the 88s, 66s with 66s, and you can't mix those. Correct. That's important yep. to, to note. Um so once you have your connections made, right, power it up, you need to log into the system, right? So it's on the network, and a lot of people will ask, like, well, what do I do the first time setup? Well, if you've ever logged into a router before to check the network settings, you put the IP address right in the web browser, mm -hmm. and that's how you log into the system and program and set it up. There's a couple different ways to get that information. Okay. First thing is, if I download and install the Rust Sound app, when you go to open it to try to use it, it's going to tell you right off the bat that the system's locked. Okay? So if you look here, this is the message from the Rust Sound app. It actually tells you the IP address on where to where you're going to log into. See that? Excellent. Yep. Okay. So there's a couple different ways to do to to get the IP address. Like depending on what's going on in in the particular home and certain network settings, maybe you wouldn't get this right away, for okay. example. Um, it does happen from time to time. Um, if you think there's a problem, you can use an app like this one. This one's called Thing, which is pretty popular. It's a network scanning tool for the mobile device. And you can use this to scan all your devices. See, it shows the MCA's IP address there as well. And the MBX Pre, as a matter of fact. So that's a nice way to, it's a nice tool to quickly check IP addresses to make sure, hey, I'm, my phone's on the right network, sure. I've got a good network connection, or whether I need to sort that out or not. Um, the other way to do it, which is often overlooked, is that there is a host name. If you look at the front of this MCA, this cover pops right off very easily. The tabs are on the end. And you've got the host name for the MCA right here on this label. Oh, look at that. Yep, so that's a, that's a nice way to to try to get into it if you don't happen to see the IP address, right? Let's say you're setting the system up and it's like, well, I don't have the app yet. I just want to log into it. Right. So then you open up your web browser, right? I have the pre up right now. And you just go right into the address bar and you just type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the exact name that's on here. In this case, it's M. <clears throat> yeah, I had put it in there before, MCA88-00A914. That's for this, that's unique to this MCA. Right. But I could put that in just like an address and uh, use Firefox or Google Chrome. We would recommend uh, Avoid Explorer and go right into it. There we are. So now we're logged into our MCA. So I've plugged it into the network. We've either got the IP address or plugged in the host name and logged right in. And from here, we just need to unlock it with our Rust Sound certified installer credentials. Right, and the purpose of the RCI certification is to make sure that only professional installers like yourselves, who are qualified and certified with Rust Sound, are able to access and install these products. It, uh, it keeps illegitimate, uh, unauthorized sales uh, off the internet uh, protects your business as an installer. Yeah, and that's a big deal. So that was the sure that was the big change. We went from our 
our original MCA series, like the MCA C3 and C5, right. compared to this series, is that we were able to lock down these products for the installers. In just a moment here, I'm just um, unlocking the product. And this is really a one-time thing. Once the product is unlocked, barring a, a hard firmware reset factory reset, you would never have to do this again. Exactly. And actually, when you unlock that, too, um, it'll send you an email to that. Confirming that, it's, that you that have unlocked, unlocked the product. Yeah. Right. So this is all unlocked now. Now, the MBX Pre, I have, happen to have already open because I logged into that earlier. But just show you a neat trick. Um, if you look in the top right-hand corner, you see that? Mm -hmm. You can toggle between the different rust sound devices on the network. makes it super easy instead of having to find an... Like, imagine if you had, like, four MBX Pre's and your MCA, and you're like, which one's which? You can just toggle right between the different devices right here. Same thing. This is the MBX Pre. Nice. Now I just toggle over to that, and that one needs to be unlocked, too. All right. So for now, I'm actually just going to show you. I'm not really going to unlock it. I'm just going to put something fictitious in there, apply. Because what happens is we have folks out in the field that, oh, you know, they have a account with their distributor, but they forgot to sign up for RCI. And right. what, what happens is they get a temporary unlock for 30 days if they don't have the credentials. So it allows you to go in there and do the work that you need to do without being stuck. But you still need to go to our website and sign up for the Rust Sound Certified Installer credentials. That's really important. Right. So don't this, forget to do that before yeah, you go to the job site. Right. So this, but this is temporary unlocked, so we can still go to work. And so we're going to take this real quick through the rest of it because um, it is pretty quick. So the first time setup for MBX Pre, um, a lot of things are already pre-configured fine. Networking is automatic. Um, DHCP is enabled. We're using it wired for, for our example over here, but you can choose to be, you can choose it wired or wireless, but we just leave it on automatic. These are the default settings, and in most cases, the default settings yep. are, are where you would want to leave them. There's a Wi Fi select if you're doing it. That's probably going to be pretty important if you're uh, doing it wireless, obviously. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to leave it to default right now. So, that's sort of like you just kind of like rolling through the basic setups. Mm -hmm. uh, most of it's pretty self self ex explanatory. You just really have to unlock it, make sure the firmware is up to date, and you can check the firmware right here under admin. Right, is your firmware update? If you needed to do that, that's always important so everything works properly. Sure. But all we're really the most that's already been up to date. But we're, the most important thing here to note. When you're setting the MBX up pre up with an MCA control amplifier, this is when you're going to put it in source mode. Zone mode is if you're going to use it as a standalone piece, as a standalone installed device. Source mode is so that the MCA can take control. Okay. So in this case, you hit source mode and it asks you what source it's going to be. And that's source number three. That's what we're going to choose. Because that's where we plugged it in earlier. And well, so. yeah, that's what we just pre-selected. doesn't have to be Source 3. Sure. But, like, by default, you have the MCA has the Bluetooth port on Source 1. Beautiful. Um, source 2 sometimes on the MCA 88X. If that, if that happens to have a streamer, you might want to disable that when you use the MBX Pre so the customers right. don't get confused. Sure. Between use the latest different... and greatest stream. Right. So in that case, then you just put, the, put it on Source 3. But... It really, you can use it on any source input you want, but can't use it on source 2 on an 88X, but you can, everything else is fine. So the key there, again, is that if you're using the MBX Pre with, say, a third-party AV receiver or just an amplifier, uh, you want to set it in zone mode. But if you're using it in conjunction with an MCA controller, that's when you put it in source mode so that it's controlled by the MCA and not as a sort of a standalone device, right? Exactly. Yep, exactly. Now here we look like we, we can just look it back. It takes a second to reestablish that mm -hmm. um, so that make sure that it's set in source mode. It's ready for communication on source three. You can see that's all set now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the MBX is done. I mean, that's it. I mean, as far as getting that set up. 
aside yeah. from Chromecast, which we talked about, you know, in, in some the previous videos. videos. Yeah. Um, but as far as getting this ready to work with the MCA properly, that's it. So then you can just toggle over to the MCA now. And this is the next real important thing. Okay. We're going to go to setup on the MCA, go to our source settings. And now you can see there's source three. I mean, we could just name it anything we want. Let's just name it MBX for now. Mm -hmm. So we remember where it is. And then we'll click edit. And this is the key right here. You have to select the right device type. So the MCA knows that it has the streamer on source number three. And in this case, it is raw sound media streamer. Okay, that's the one. So once that's set to Rust Sound Media Streamer on Source 3, and you've got your MBX Pre set to Source 3, right? Yeah. That's going to make them work together. All right, so now we're going to check our work in the Rust Sound app. Okay. We've done what we've needed to do so far to get everything up and running. Mm -hmm. um, you can go back later, name zones and sources and, you know. Sure customize that but for now we're just going to open up the rust sound app and, app and check this out all right so that we see our zone list mm -hmm. right i'm just going to turn the zone on go to it now this is on mbx already right but it says stopped because we haven't chosen anything right. yet it's not playing so if you look yet. here in the corner you've got your menu you yep. just hit that's the three horizontal bars you hit that Right. And there's our services we can choose from. That's pretty much it. I'm just picking something that we don't have to log into right now, but uh, let's try it out. Right. And that's it. So you're going from having this on the network to unlocking it to doing a basic setup, and it really takes a couple of minutes. It's not... It's a very simple process overall. I think as long as you know what you're doing in the beginning, right. um, part of what we're trying to show here is that it's really not a very complicated thing once you have the tools and you know what to do. Right. So you want to make sure you have it plugged in appropriately. Make sure right. you're in the right source that you want to be, the right inputs, the right outputs. Uh, you unlock the product. That's important. Right. That you've got the MBX set in source mode, not zone mode. Yep, source mode, and then match it to the MCA. Right. So if you're doing source 5 for your MBX Pre, you tell it that it's going to be source 5 in the, in the setup, and in, in the MCA, you make sure that the MCA on the same source, source 5, yeah, would be a Rust Sound Media Streamer as the device type. Those are the key things for those things to be able to communicate right. with each other. Right, yep. and setting the right device type, obviously, is important. so that it The, the Rust Sound Media Streamer, yeah, exactly, right. yep. All right. Well, thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for tuning in again. We'll see you again next time. Take care.